So great to have you once again, Coach Shani. Today we're talking about betting on Tinder. Whoop, whoop. But this mm-hmm. can also apply to every other um, dating app where you swipe or have to choose a mate. So we're going to be telling you how to vet for success, okay? Because we've had a lot of this going on on Chengi's Angels. A lot of the girls are really, really discovering how bad they are betting and selecting men. Mm-hmm. And this is really key because 80% of relationship success is selection, right? Mm. So you, if you select the right person, then you stand the greater chance of that relationship or that courtship, that dating process to be successful. So here we are today, and we're just gonna, I'm just going to ask Koshani to give us the first um, principle when it comes to vetting. What is it that women need to look for on Tinder? Or a dating yeah. Uh, yeah. So in terms of uh, asking questions, uh, I think it's really important to just ask a lot of questions. So um, when you match with somebody, just you know, obviously you don't want to be firing off a, a million questions all at once, but you want to just weave some questions, cleverly crafted questions, into your conversation to really get to the heart of what it is that man is looking for, what are his core values, what is it that he, he wants from being on Tinder. And you don't have to ask him directly because I find that that will put men off. Yes. Um, they won't really, they'll feel like they're being interrogated. But mm-hmm. there are some cleverly crafted questions that we can kind of weave in and ask some really um, fun questions too uh, because those sorts of questions will really evolve uh, a really nice conversation if you've got things in common Mm. Uh, so one of the things I really like to ask a man is you know if you could invite three people to dinner living or dead who would they be and why Mm. and I find this one really gets some really great conversations going because some men will really invite people that just like wow that's so interesting and then then they'll say because I'm an engineer and I'm really interested in electric vehicles so I invite Elon Musk or it it, but it just starts off this and sometimes we will have I've had the same we've had almost the same people Uh, and so that will spark a conversation yeah that's really getting to the heart of someone's interests yeah and what it is that they're interested in and what is it that that they um you know, want to do with their lives or, um, yeah, it will just spark really good conversations. So um, there's some really good questions. Like there's a question around um, values and that is if I were a genie and I could grant you three wishes, what would they be and why? Mm-hmm. And some men will just, they'll say to me, they'll really take these questions very seriously and they'll say, great question. I don't know. I'm going to have to go away and think about this. I'll get back to you tomorrow. So they will just... Yeah, but I've had some men who have said some really inappropriate things when I ask that question. They'll say, I want a girl who's a freak in the sheets and she'll have sex with me whenever she wants, whenever <laughs> I want. So, you know, okay, unmatch from him. Um, but, you know, if a man was to come back and say, I really want to meet my wife and the future, the future mother of my children, wow, okay, he's here for the same reason that I am. Mm. A lot of men won't say that. But that's the opportunity for you to then reply back to him with your wishes is your top wish is to meet your forever person, your soulmate or the men that you're going to marry and settle down. And most of the times when I say that, a man will come back and say, that would be my wish too. So Such a romantic. um... (laughs) Yeah. But it's 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 a very it's a it's a much better way instead of saying oh, I want to get married and have kids. Do you do you want to get married and have kids too? Yeah. It will kind of put off a man. Yeah. But you know, it's your opportunity to say what it is you're looking for yeah. and what your core value is and who what what's important to you. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I think there's some questions, and you've got the fifth uh, the fifty dating questions on your website that people can download. Yes. This as well, and I think that's that every high value woman needs answered. And some of the ones Koshani has mentioned, this uh, the genie one is in there. Uh, the one about dinner yeah. is not in there. So when you buy it, add it to the mm-hmm. list because uh, that's really good. Koshani, yeah. I love that one. Um, but yeah. there's plenty yeah. of questions on there that are fun, that are yeah. but that will give you insight into somebody. Because the thing is, we usually ask 
questions to get answers. But I want when you're dating, you don't want to get answers as much as you want to get insight. Because mm -hmm. people can mm -hmm. give you the right answers to the right questions. But when you ask the question like um, the one about the genie, um, and if you've gone through three wishes, there is no right answer to that. Yeah. You can only give me insight into the things you value, into the things that are important yeah. to you. And that's how I've designed those questions that they will give you insight. It's the same thing with the dinner one that you came up with. Um, there's no right or wrong answer. It just gives me mm. insight into what matters to you, uh, what, yeah. what you think is a priority. Um, and mm. there are other questions that will let you see his fun side too, if he has one or his sexy side. Yeah. Again, there are whole 50 questions, probably more. And you can add the one that Koshani, and if you work with Koshani and myself, you can probably get a thousand more. Okay. Yeah. So you can get a whole 50 questions that you can use literally copy paste onto a text, right? Obviously you've got to be smart with it. But this is what we're doing. A lot of us date to get answers, but not insight. What we want is insight into who a man is, what his priorities are. And if you ask him a direct question, you won't necessarily get the truth. So yes, yes. that's a great betting question. Now, Tinder is a fast yes. moving app, Koshani. Uh, we're talking about Tinder now. Maybe we'll talk about Hinge and other Bumble and all these others in our next kind of videos because we're getting into winter now here on this side of the world. And dating apps and with everything going on in the world have becoming a primary place for people to meet. So we've got to get this right. So Tinder is quite yeah. fast paced and you're really making decisions mm. very quickly. Now, what would mm. you be looking for as a high value woman in a picture on Tinder? Mm. What kind of images would put you off and what images would kind of make you do that left swipe? I'm assuming left is the yeah. one. So yeah. Yeah, so left is no, right is yes. No, right is yes. <laughs> Don't think okay. about that. Swipe right. Swipe right. <laughs> yeah. So I never ever will swipe right, so yes, uh, on a man who um, has uh, no shirt on. Yeah. Uh, I'll never swipe right on a man who's got pictures of his abs. Mm -hmm. um, and that's just it. <laughs> um, I'll never swipe right on a man who um, is looking really sexy mm -hmm. and laying down, you know, uh, or mm -hmm. got those come to bed eyes because uh, yeah. to me that's spam anyway. Um, <laughs> but I just think that uh, no, because he's not he's not suitable. Yeah. Um, if he's doing activities, um, I'll, I'll, that'll make me look through a bit more. But, mm. you know, even activities and what he sort of says in his in his bio, yeah. if he's sort of the sort of guy that's, I love camping, I love four wheel driving, I love going out and shooting, I love this, this and this, yeah. I know he's not the guy for me because I don't camp, I don't go out shooting, yeah. I don't do any of those things. Um, and in Australia here, a lot of the guys love camping, fishing, like all that sort of stuff. I'm not into it. Yeah. Uh, it tells me that we have completely different interests. Um, so um, I think I spy on the guys who look like they've put a bit of effort into their photos and a little bit of effort into their bio and they actually are stating what it is that they're looking for. Yeah. Um, but a lot of them don't have bios, um, so you just really got to go on the pictures. But to me, a picture paints a thousand words. So yeah. what is it that he's doing in the picture? Um, what is he smiling in the pictures? I avoid men who have got a beer in every picture. In they're, they're holding a beer in every photo. Cause to me, it's like, well, you're a party, are you a drink up? <laughs> I'm none of those things either. Um, so we, we're wanting a man who is in line with, you know, with us. Yeah. So if you love going out and drinking and partying every weekend, swipe yes on the guy that's got a beer in his hand in every single photo, mm -hmm. um, because that you might be perfect for that. But what what are you what is aligning with with you yeah and go with that um because for me i i i love a guy who is really active and mm. he likes to go rock climbing and he likes to go, do crossfit and because they're things i like to do so i know that we will have common interests um so really i think a lot of the women and we uh, we can probably tell from chinese angels 
is that there's, there's women who are going and getting sucked into the playboy and the pretty boy and they're yeah. getting, and it's because their photos, when, when they're screenshotting the photos, it's completely not aligned with um, who they are and what it is that they want, but they like him because he's good looking. And, you know, he's tall, dark and handsome. <laughs> yeah. But. Yes. And that's the presentation on Tinder, some... isn't it? It's to yeah. kind of go with that first impression. And what mm. Coach Shani is saying is, listen, before you just swipe right, okay, so you've been swiping left, 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 Right. And already we're on the back foot because we haven't done the initial vetting. So what Coach Shani is saying is look at the pictures. Mm -hmm. What are they telling you about him? Has he got his shirt off? Is he constant? And is his lifestyle congruent with your lifestyle? Like I said to one of the girls and angels, is the energy in those photographs congruent with your energy? Yeah. Right, because even like Koshani says, a picture, a picture paints a thousand words. Those words are energy too. So you want to mm. look at does this man have the right energy? I personally didn't swipe on any man that didn't smile. I just, if I saw a smile on a man, I was like, hello, right? Because yeah, yeah, same, so yeah. A good, warm spirit, right? That he was capable of kindness. So that yeah. doesn't have to be yours. That doesn't have to be your energy. But again, take the time out because Tinder's got a bad reputation all over the world for being yeah. a hookup app. But it's really not true. A lot of people find love on there. I've dated amazing guys on Tinder. But it's really mm. about user error, right? Mm. It's about user error. It's the person on the other side swiping left or right that determines what's going to happen and you have that power. So we've talked about the questions you can ask. You can get the 50 questions from the website from changesworld.co.uk forward slash shop under digital products and you can download that straight onto your uh, phone or device. Um, and number two, we've spoken about how to really vet through images. Mm. Is there anything else that we need to consider when we are dating um, on Tinder, especially because of the high movement of energy, mm. what can we do? Because a lot of what I found is women get worn out very quickly by that app mm. uh, because it's really very unnatural to go through that many men in, in, in a short space of time. Yeah. Now, yeah. what would you recommend a woman do to get her mind and her mm. energy right? Because it does show up too so what yeah. would you recommend coach shiny and it does with me too um particularly when uh, i find i'm swiping through and the guys are like i'm just here for a one night stand um i'm married um my yeah. wife knows i'm on here uh <laughs> i've even there's been even some pictures where guys have just standing there naked with an erection um, and so it just, you know, you kind of think, oh my God, uh, I'm going to be single forever. And I think, um, I think I've messaged you a few times going, there's no one down here. And, uh, and I'm hearing the same thing from other women. Yeah. But I have to say when I've perfected my, my skills, my betting skills, um, I, I have met some really lovely high quality men on there. Uh, and I've had some really amazing times and experiences with some men um, that mm. I've met on Tinder. Um, so it's not all bad, but I do mm. understand where women are coming from because I feel it in, even now. So the things that I do um, is I, I won't go on there if I'm feeling flat. Yeah. If I'm starting to swipe and I go, oh my God, you know, I'm going to be single forever. I know that's yeah. time for me to put it away and yeah. to not. So I, I give myself, a time in the morning before I go to work, I'll reply. When I'm sitting having my cup of tea, I'll reply to the men that I'm talking to. Mm -hmm. And then I don't really go on it again through the, through the day. Yeah. Um, I'm at work, I'm busy and so forth. When I come home and when I'm having dinner, uh, that's my time when I might do some swiping. If mm -hmm. I feel up to it, if I'm feeling flat, 
and I'm feeling low in energy and I'm not feeling like I'm high value in, in that moment or I'm feeling like um, despondent or that I'm going to be single for the rest of my life, I don't swipe. I don't go on there. I don't swipe. Um, no. You know, the thing that you taught me when I was getting coached by you was to keep, keep the energy really high. So only go on there and swipe when you're feeling good, when you're feeling confident, when you're feeling sexy, um, when you're feeling much more self-assured that's the time to go and swipe because it is an energy transaction. So yeah, 100%. I've got time limits that I spend on there. I don't waste a lot of my time because it is easy to sit there while you're watching TV and swipe for an hour or so. I don't let myself do that. Yeah, brilliant. So we've got getting the right energy. This is so key because, yes, like Coach Shani said, she would text me and be like, your energy is off. <laughs> what happens is because we're dealing with a device, we feel that it somehow filters our energy, but it doesn't because energy doesn't know geography. Energy is, is just energy. It's not contained by the same level of geography. So, you know, Shani is in Australia right now. I am in London. Our energy is the same, right? And it's not the fact that she's in Australia and it's nighttime and it's morning here doesn't shift the energy that is being exchanged, even though everything right now we're doing is via device. So yeah. if you come on um, and your energy is wrong, it's as if the algorithm just throws the crap at you, right? <laughs> because you are calling it, you're attracting that movement. So yeah. when you shift your energy, so when don't ever go on unless you're feeling great, I always suggest, you know, wake up, in the morning, do some exercise, do your meditations, read your Bible, whatever it is that you have as a spiritual exercise, put yourself in a good state of mind. You know, I do that with literally everything in my life. Before I wake up and open emails, the rituals I get myself into so that I can handle whatever is going to come, you know, across the screen. So you need to kind of have those rituals, um, whatever that ritual is for you. And then I used to go online first thing because I haven't been messed with yet. My energy is still good. And then I'll swipe a bit right before my shower. And to be honest with you, my Tinder experience was amazing. I won't mm. lie. It was amazing. I, you know, yes, yes. You're going to get the ones that you were talking about, the dodgy ones, the ones on the pillow, the one, you know, you just left them. But when you're in good energy, you almost don't notice them because your energy mm -hmm. is so good. You're just looking for that right person. Yeah. So, 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 so important. Your mindset is so, so important. I think a lot of women don't know this. They kind of go on there frustrated. They've had a hard day at work. Um, and also managing your exposure, which is what you said, Coach Shani. You don't put yourself through the Tinder experience for 24 hours of the day. Because in yeah. the real life situation, you wouldn't expose yourself to a room full of men throughout a 24 hour process, right? Yeah. You would probably do that on a weekend with your girls or maybe midweek after, after work drinks or, you know, so you have to, um, you know, really make sure that you manage your exposure. And a lot of us are having Tinder fatigue and getting ourselves into a tizzy because we're not managing our exposure. So I would yeah. give yourself a time. So 30 minutes in the morning, maybe 30 minutes at night, nothing more. Unless a conversation that's exciting happens, mm -hmm. then fine. But if nothing happens, 30 minutes. If you have to time yourself, time yourself. Yeah. It's about consistency. It's about great energy. And it's about managing your exposure. If you mm -hmm. can get those three things right, you know, um, there's one guy I ended up in a relationship with and he was fantastic. And he said, you know, he didn't want to go on Tinder because he thought it was a hookup app, right? So even guys are on there thinking, uh, yeah. I'm going to get a woman, you know, because not everyone on Tinder is looking to get laid yeah. straight away. Everybody wants to get laid, but not just in that moment, you know what I'm trying to say. So um, yeah. those are the three tips I believe we have for you. Um, yeah. to take away and yeah. get those resources get on there your husband your future boyfriend the love of your life is probably waiting for you on tinder yeah. do and you have any last my, yeah my only other thing is just take a chance of the, on the geeky guy like take a chance on the guy that you wouldn't normally you might normally go for the dark yes. tall handsome fit guy. swipe right 
on a geeky guy or on the guy yeah. that you wouldn't normally talk to and give the time of day to. But you know what? Some of those guys, I've I swiped and gone out. I, I had a date um, only last weekend. I've seen him on there before, and I just went like, eh, he's not really my type." And like, look, we did. We went out. We had a wonderful time. We had a great conversation. A great first date. Um, we decided it wasn't the the right thing for us to continue seeing each other. But I had a wonderful experience, and he was a great guy. He just wasn't the right guy yeah. for me, and I wasn't the right girl for him. Yeah. But it was a great experience, and it may have, you know, just might have been the right guy. So uh, I just think, don't just go for those stereotypical good-looking hot guys because every other girl's gone for him too. Um, but it's exactly. the geeky guy. It's the the engineer, the software engineer, and all that sort of stuff. That they're, they're the guys who want to get married and settle down. Yeah, so. that's a lovely one. And thank you for bringing that up, Koshani. Mm. I was saying to the girls this very morning on Angels, I was responding to one of their challenges and I was saying to them, swipe on the short guy, the bald yeah. guy, the slightly older guy than you would have considered, the slightly younger guy, obviously not silly young, but like yeah. this is an opportunity. I mean, where else are you going to be in a situation where you're going to have all of these variety of men? They just don't happen. So mm. take advantage. Stop looking for your type. Look yeah. for people who can give you a great dating experience. And that is so, so, so important, Koshani. Thank you for bringing that up because mm -hmm. even if he doesn't end up as your choice, great dating experiences are all part of the landscape. We all mm. need to have a night where we're dressed up, look pretty, and have masculine energy. Even if that energy is not romantic, it helps preserve you. So if you've seen my video about mm. I need a man, the reason why we end up falling for the wrong guy, the married man, is because we're so deprived of masculine energy. And this is how we feed ourselves of masculine energy by going on great dates with guys we might not necessarily fancy. And we might be surprised that their energy yeah. might be really sexy and attractive to us and it might work out for you. So yeah. it's such a shame when women... Um, go on Tinder or dating apps and they just zero in on their type. Yeah. Right? Not yeah. to say you can't have your type, but give that other guy a chance too. So I really, really yeah. love that. That's yeah. really very good. Um, yeah. And also, um, before we go, you know, interaction wise, don't be the first to speak. If you've matched, let him speak yeah. first. Okay. Yeah. That's really important for establishing who's the feminine and who's the masculine. Because sometimes if you really like a guy, you might be like, he like him, what should I say? Say nothing. He's matched with you. Yeah. He's been informed that you've been matched. If he is masculine energy, he is going to say the first thing. And do not jump down yeah. his throat just because he said hi. Okay. Say yeah. hi back and maybe say a few other things hi, how are you? Or, you know, you know, give him yeah. an opportunity. Some masculine men especially don't really yeah. know how to have conversation. So all yeah. of those things I always just say, I, I always thank him for actually messaging me too. Wow. I always brilliant. say, hi, I really, I really appreciate you messaging me. Thank you. And wow. because, you know, a lot of them don't. A lot of them sit there up the top, and don't yeah. actually make the first move. So when they actually make the first move, I thank them for that. I really I, I acknowledge that they've made the yeah, move, yeah. And that's that high value move so, again. Woo! Right. <laughs> those are those high value moves that will always set you apart from every other mm -hmm. woman. All right. So these are some of the things you can do. Tender is a great app. It has a lot of volume. And really what I love about the app is you can go from town to town, city to city and actually meet the men in that sort of radius. Um, mm. And, you know, if you want a certain kind of guy, take your phone, take your app to a certain area that you know, you know, um, that you're likely to meet somebody like that. And then swipe away. Sit in a coffee shop and swipe away, right? Yeah. Um, so it's a great app, and um, it's bringing a lot of love to a lot of people. So don't get caught up with the whole it's a hookup app. And I hope that we've given you enough to go by. I will be coming back again with more online dating tips, maybe for other apps, uh, the ones we recommend and the ones we do not recommend. Um, yeah. And really just certain things that are coming up, we're going to keep you posted. So in the mm. meantime, ladies, take care of you. Love you a lot. Bye.